as PTI resumed its long march to Islamabad from Wazirabad today with former Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi leading the marches. Party Chief Imran Khan addressing the supporters in Wazirabad through video link called upon the Chief Justice of Pakistan, Umar Atta Pandeyal, to look into the matters of the FIR of attack on his container, the murder of journalist Arshad Sharif, as well as the alleged custodial torture of PTI Senator Azam Swati. And I want to Supreme Court ke Chief Justice ko aaj karna chata. देखिए सर आपकी बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी आज पाकिस्तान पर कौम आपकी तरफ अब देख रही है कौम यह देख रही है कि पाकिस्तान का एक्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर फर्स्ट इंफॉर्मेशन रिपोर्ट अपनी दर्ज नहीं करवा सके जो उसका हक है इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो उसके बाद पता चल जाए कि क्या जी जो ठीक है या नहीं मैं अपने सारे जो मुझे पूरा पता है कि यह प्लान कब से बना कैसे बना वीडियो किसने निकाली इंफॉर्मेशन मिनिस्टर मरियम औरंगजेब ऑन द अदर हैंड हैज कॉल्ड द पीटीआई चीफ्स एलिगेशन ऑन प्राइम मिनिस्टर शहबाज एंड द अदर ऑफिशियल्स अ टैक्टिक टू स्टे रेलेवेंट औरंगजेब एडेड दैट द फॉर्मर प्रीमियर वाज फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एंड बेंट अपॉन क्रिएटिंग केयर्स एंड एनार्की इन द कंट्री मीनवाइल द ग्रैंड डेमोक्रेटिक अलायंस हैज ऑफर टू मीडिएट बिटवीन द गवर्नमेंट एंड द ओपोजिशन keeping in view the extremely serious situation of the country GDA leaders Dr Safdar Ali Abbasi and Sardar Abdul Rahim presented the offer during a press conference at Functional House Clifton in the meantime the prime minister has announced financial assistance worth rupees 5 million each for the families of four people who lost their lives during PTI's long march according to a notification issued by the PM's office the prime minister while expressing grief over the tragic deaths during the recent long march of a political party has been pleased to announce financial financial assistance of rupees 5 million each in favor of legal heirs of the deceased persons The Supreme Court on Thursday upheld a high court judgment revoking the suspension of broadcast media licenses by the Pakistan Electronic Media Regulatory Authority. A three-member SC bench headed by Justice Ijazul Ehsan and also comprising Justices Munib Akhtar and Syed Mazhar Ali Akbar Naqvi issued the verdict on the authority's plea challenging the Sindh High Court's 2021 ruling. In its ruling last year, the Sindh High Court had held that the power to suspend broadcast media licenses contained in Section 30 of the Pembra Ordinance 2002 could not be delegated to the authority's chairman or any official without framing rules the ruling was issued on a plea filed by the pakistan broadcasters association during today's hearing justice akhtar noted that the power to suspend licenses could be given to pembra head but questioned under what rules and laws it would be delegated he asked if the authority can give the powers to hire or dismiss a grade 3 officer justice s and observed that it was necessary to frame the relevant rules adding that who they empower is a different matter the judge further observed that the rules had not been framed for the past 20 years he said that it has been a year since the high court's judgment still the rules have not been devised The Pakistan Stock Exchange's benchmark KSC 100 index gained 635.9 points on Thursday, buoyed by buying in the oil and gas exploration sector. The benchmark index was up 599.39 points or 1.42% to reach 42,864.75 by 11:40 a.m. It gained further in the day and closed at 42,901.27, up 1.5%. AKD Securities CEO Amin Yusuf attributed this bullish trend to the upcoming visit of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to Pakistan and the expectation of 10 billion dollar investment in a refinery which was announced by Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif last month head of equities at Intermarket Securities Raza Jafri also said there was value buying in the oil and gas exploration sector but added that investors were also showing interest in shares of Islamic banks after the finance minister indicated support for full sharia conversion of the banking system 